Now I'd like to talk about one of my favorite parts of the basic panel. After you do all your basic work, setting the white balance, exposure, contrast, highlights, shadows, whites, and blacks, you've got one area left at the bottom of the basic panel known as presence. And you have three sliders. You have clarity, vibrance, and saturation. Clarity is like sharpening. What Clarity does is it detects the edges of the midtones in the image, and it makes it look sharper. Now look what happens when I drag this slider to the right. See, I'm starting to get more detail in the image. Now you can go too far and get what I call a crunchy image. What I generally do is I set Clarity on a landscape to about 42. And now Vibrance, what does Vibrance do? Vibrance makes the colors more vibrant, just like it says. So if I drag this to the right, I'm starting to get some really rich colors. Of course, I can overdo this as well. This would never print. So again, a setting of about 15 is generally where I will go on a landscape. It's believable, and it's just enough of a pop to make the image look really sharp. Now what's saturation? Saturation saturates the colors. It makes the blues bluer and the reds redder. And you can get way over the top with saturation. But generally what I like to do is a setting of about 15 on a landscape. Now let's talk something else about saturation and vibrance. Something that's very popular today is grunge. Grunge would be a very sharp image, but the colors are slightly off. If I set my vibrance at plus 15 and my saturation at minus 15, if I set my vibrance at plus 15 and my saturation at minus 15, I've got kind of like a grunge look going on with the clarity set to 100. Now let me point out one other thing with clarity. If you go the other way with clarity, you have a very soft, very flat image with no contrast. Now, where would this come in handy? Say, maybe like a portrait and you want to soften skin? We'll get into that later. But for right now, I'm going to set this back to 42. And this is what I consider my ideal clarity, vibrance, and saturation setting for a landscape. Now let's look at something else. I'm going to go into my Quick Collection. Need to be in the library to get in the Quick Collection. All right. Go into my Quick Collection. And I've got a portrait of a baseball player here that I shot during spring training. Let's take a look and see what vibrance, clarity, and saturation will do on a portrait. So I go back into the Develop module. And I'm going to increase the clarity. Now with a guy, you can get away with this. You would not want to increase detail this much on a woman. Vibrance, the same thing. Vibrance, the cool thing about vibrance when you're working on a portrait is that vibrance will affect every color except skin tones. But not so with saturation. I advise you never to use saturation when you're editing a photograph of a person. See what happens when you start changing the saturation, the skin gets a reddish tone and doesn't look pleasing at all. So saturation, set that back to zero. Now let's look at clarity and take it the other way on this portrait. See, it does a nice job of softening the skin and softening the background. But would we want to do this on the entire portrait? No. And I'm going to show you that in an upcoming lesson. We've got an adjustment brush tool that we can use to paint adjustments onto specific areas of the image. So that is the power of presence in Lightroom.